she's waiting for us outside. Okay. We got you. Oh. M6 on scene. Hello, ma'am. Okay. What's going, What's going on, on today? Um, I had back surgery when I was 27. Uh, which is, oh my God, 20. A while ago? Yeah. <laughs> so you have so you have chronic back pain? Oh, uh, no, no. I, I've been doing really good. You hey. said you had back surgery mm -hmm. in your 20s. Come on in the yeah. truck. Now hold on. So. Come on, come this way. Okay. You're going to have a seat right there. All right, love <sighs> oh. All right. You got to try to uh, control your breathing. Breathe oh. in through your nose, <laughs> out through your mouth. <laughs> Oh, when is the last time it was hurting this bad? Oh, years. And Ugh. you didn't lift anything? No. You didn't fall? You didn't hit oh. yourself? OK. Oh. All right. Try and hold still so I can get a pressure and stuff. <laughs> OK. What do you normally take for pain? Ibuprofen. OK. And that works for you, but today is just uh. nice. I can see she is in pain. No matter how she was sitting on the stretcher, it was uncomfortable for her. Oh, right here. <laughs> Just breathe, darling. Breathe in through your nose. You don't want to breathe too fast, and you don't want to hold your breath. That's my blood pressure. It's high, and your heart rate's high. She's having a hard time managing her breathing. We have to get this under control before she goes into a full-blown panic attack. OK. Uh, just keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. Right. Don't try not to hold your breath. Just breathe, OK? Uh, All right, darling, it's going to be a stick on three, OK? Just relax, just relax. I got you. One, two, three. Woo! Sorry. Uh, that's all right. uh, OK, okay. I'm going to give you a little bit. It's a little morphine, OK? Just lean back and just relax. There you go. Just give the medicine time to start working. What's your name? Nikki. Nikki. You're an angel. Thank you. Nikki. That morphine working good, isn't it? Your mama was an angel. Yes, With she was. You. Yes, she is. That's good. Yes, she has. How you know that? How you know that? With you. She's got her hands on your shoulders. Thank you. That's my girl. Oh. I'm just like, wait, what? Because my mom has passed. It'll be eight years in November. It's, it's so yeah, it no, easy. it never gets easy. Oh my god. I'm still in the healing process. You never heal from losing your mom. So whenever anyone brings up my mom, it always tugs at my heartstrings. Girl, you're going to stop because you're going to have me cry back here because it's still kind of hard. No, you don't understand. Jesus. You shot in, shot in my... Thank you, honey. Well, your mom must have been with you, like, right then and there. That whole time. <laughs> uh, so, I... Yeah, it... Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'll be okay. Need a hug? No, because then I'm going to cry, so no. My mom and I didn't have the best relationship, but sometimes I just wanted to know that she's happy for me and she knows that I'm doing the best that I can. And I need a break. I can't. Maybe I do need a hug. It's OK. I know she's proud of me. She sees the kind of person that I am in my career, with my coworkers, with the public, with my family. I know she's very proud. OK, all right, I'm done. All right. I do believe in guardian angels. My mom, I know, is my guardian angel. Come on, let's go. All right.